so I'm Mary Schatzschneider, and with a last name like that, you know I got made fun of a lot as a kid. Like I got called Snot Snatcher, <laughs> and Snatch Rider, and Shat in the Shower, which happened once, and then you're labeled that for life, like you can't. But my personal favorite though was the Shat Shank Redemptioner. <laughs> I got pretty clever after a while, so. So just a fun fact about Mary. Um, I really like to drink and I'm really good at it. So I wrote some poetry about it. I like to call them licorics. <laughs> there once was a girl who loved gin and the way it would dribble down her chin. Given the chance, she would remove her pants and give in to her favorite sin. <laughs> There once was a girl who loved rum. <laughs> and the way it sloshed around in her tub. Without too many thoughts, she took 12 straight shots. Fanned it down in her bum. <laughs> so I'm from the uh, small town of Cranbrook, BC. And I'm not, that's, I'm not bragging. <laughs> but uh, there's currently an overpopulation of white-tailed deer in and around the city. So the government is talking about implementing a deer contraceptive. Now the problem with that is we can't get human males to put on condoms. How are they going to roll one down on a deer? <laughs> it's weird living, being from a small town though, because like all the buildings top out about three stories, so no one has ever committed suicide by jumping. <laughs> it's just like, Foom. oh my God, Steve. <laughs> is, that, is that a sprain? You're fine. Get back to work. Nobody cares. <laughs> But it's the, it's the little things about being from a small town that really make it special. Like, uh, we have a fully licensed bowling alley right across the street from a fully licensed taco time. We're just waiting for Burger King's fully licensed ball pit, and we're going to have ourselves a tourist attraction. <laughs> Excited to go home for that one. But, uh, like I say, when you're from a small town, though, the best part is, is that no matter what, you always always know exactly where your STDs originated from, so. <laughs> Damn you, Becky Carlisle! <laughs> She's gross. Um, <laughs> so I just moved to Vancouver, just moved to the big city, it's super exciting. And uh, my first Four days here, I was approached by what I'm pretty sure was a murderer. I was downtown hailing a cab, and I watched his vehicle go the wrong way, down a one way, and then pull immediately up to the curb I was standing on. He goes, hey, you looking for a cab? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, I'm Gypsy Cab. <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> now, I watch a lot of CSI folks. So I took note of his face, his hair color, the clothes he was wearing, the rust on the side of his white 94 Jimmy with the falling off running board and what appeared to be blood on the front bumper. But then when I did get in with him, though, I scratched him, you know? Safety first, I got his DNA, so... They'll find him. I'm not really afraid of living in the big city, though. What I am still afraid of, though, is the dark. And my mom figures that's because before I would go to bed, she would always shout, Nightmare! <laughs> <laughs> She's cute like that. <laughs> um, yeah, living in Vancouver, it's pretty cool. They do all these like fundraisers and stuff, like they're having a sick kids lottery. I don't want to have a healthy kid. Why would I want to win a sick kid? Like, I don't <laughs> get it. It's weird. It's gross. <laughs> And God knows what they would have when you won that one. Like, it might be just like a peanut allergy or it might be something much worse, so... No, thank you. Anyone here ever accidentally motorboat someone? Okay, so not just me. That's great. I'll tell you my story. I was out dancing with my friends. And that's how I dance. Just go with it. I hate myself a little. It's okay. So, 
And girls, when we go out, we dance in a circle. It's sometimes called a gurgle. And that's so that we can judge each other at the same time while still pretending we're having fun. So, now you know, gentlemen. So we're out and we're dancing and I'm, you know, this again. And uh, I started to laugh and then one of those really intense laughs, like I rock back and forth and I toss my head, so it's like, <laughs> like it's not attractive and I know that, but that's how I laugh. So I'm at like the apex, if you will, of my laughter. And this outsider walks through the gurgle. And I came down and I just laughed right in your tits. So, so I like popped out of her cleavage. And I was like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. And she looks at me and gives me the stink eye and she goes, I'm sure. <laughs> and she tries to walk away. Now I'm not going to let that happen because A, that was hilarious, and B, that was hilarious. <laughs> so I just grabbed her, I brought her in real close, and I just told her, I was like, look, it's not going to happen again because your tits smell like tuna, and then I danced away. <laughs> so that's how I deal with that situation. <laughs> Seriously though, tuna. Ooh, it's weird. <laughs> So, I'm going to end on a musical note tonight. And, uh, I really love the band Aerosmith, so I like to rewrite Aerosmith songs, and Steven Tyler is my soulmate, whether he knows it or not yet. And uh, contrary to popular belief, I am not the actual guitarist from Aerosmith. <laughs> but I got the most important part of this song down. Uh, and when I play these songs, I like to refer to myself as Marrow Smith. <laughs> so this is stock this way. <laughs> I'm running out of time, I'm gonna do this quick. <laughs> okay, hold on, we'll get that down a bit and we'll just yell into it. And that's it, that's all I know. <laughs> Doors open and I'm really kind of hoping that the cops don't look my way. No restraining order, got a video recorder in the bushes, I'm gonna stay. I'm obsessed with Steven, but the love's uneven, so I'm gonna make him see that the best kind of lover is the daughter of my mother ever since I was 23. That's me. <laughs> see y'all singing with the boys so cool, you and me make a really great pair. Singing eeny meeny money, wanna touch your honey, and I love to just smell your hair. I could hide in your basement or up in the attic, my love for you will never desist. You don't hear me creeping, but I'm watching while you're sleeping, and I give you just a little kiss like this. Because I stalk this way, stalk this way, stalk this way, let me carry your kids. And then there's a really intense guitar solo, but I can't do it, so. 